Roll Tide, sir. That's a it's a fine W. You know, you're, it's gonna be interesting. I, if, the rest of the season could be really interesting because I have my I looked at the schedules for everybody, and I had my I have my playoff four teams, and yeah, it's it drives me a little nuts that this is where the playoffs going because it doesn't have Alabama. Uh, my playoff right now is. You would think so, but I'm just putting where Vegas handicaps it. And actually, not really. You know, watching a lot of Alabama, it's a great crowd, and 100,000 people is never not going to be a great crowd. But it's not LSU or Clemson or Madison or some of these other places that just get nuts. It's a great crowd, but I, it's not – or a and It's not on that level. It kind of reminds me of North Carolina basketball. Um, where North Carolina has a great crowd game in, game out, but it's not Kansas or Duke or some of these other just electric venues. And if they, yeah, and if they don't, they're not going to make the playoff. They don't have the resume to do it. So you're going to see a playoff of Cincinnati, Alabama, or not Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State. Watch out for Notre Dame. Look at the schedules. If if Oregon loses this game, watch for the schedules. Yeah, it's gonna be Notre Dame. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying it's not a great crowd. It's, I'm just, I can't. It's a hypothetical that's hard to judge. It, it just is. So I'm not saying Arkansas doesn't have an awesome crowd. They do, and I know there's been some lean years recently. So, I mean, hopefully, it's, he's a great fit. The defensive corner? Are you talking about, like, about a recruit? Or do I think uh, – Mr. Banks, explain your comment a little bit more. I'm, I could just be dumb. I'm ridiculously tired. It has been a long week. I wanted to talk a little bit about now Bryce Young. I spelled four wrong. That's embarrassing. I don't even know. If, I was, maybe when I was making that, I was trying to be – Bryce Young versus C.J. Stroud for Heisman. They did. It was a great game. If he means coordinator, I don't know. Nick Saban doesn't really ever fire people. Who was the last guy he fired? Because someone... obviously his last couple defensive coordinators he didn't fire because they went on to become coaches. Who was the last... Of course. Uh, like I said, I... Don't know. He's a Saban's a pretty loyal guy. He doesn't just fire people. It's interesting. Um, because people just leave. <laughs> they just go off to other jobs, whether it be Kirby, Pruitt. Uh you know, going all the way back to him. So I don't know. I think he would be, though. I think he will be. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud for Heisman. You know, we, we've had a bunch of candidates all year. We had Sam Hartman at Wake Forest. Kenny Pickett still putting up elite numbers, so he might sneak in there. Um, Kenneth, yeah, Kenneth Walker. We had guys coming in that all had shots at the Heisman, and Kenneth Walker was non-existent today because Michigan State, despite only being down 14 nothing, knowing they couldn't stop that offense, went, we're going to put it in the hands of Peyton Thorne. Stupid. Thank God Mel Tucker signed that contract before the game. Um, Sam Hartman had a bad game. Pickett's still around. But you have guys with the ability to take leaps into their race. And C.J. Stroud did it today. 400 yards in the first half and five touchdowns. He was impeccable. And Bryce Young did it today. They are now probably your two front runners. They are your two front runners. Hey, no worries. No worries. No worries. I I, I just, when I put, when, for the uh, Heisman graphic, I spelled four F-O-U-R. No worries. It happens. Win is a win, but at this point, you got to be a little nervous. Uh, you know, that could be a really ugly contract, folks. I, I said it when it was high, or I put it on, I tweeted it out. That could be an ugly, because a lot of the guys that are he's having success with this year are transfer portal. He hasn't had to recruit much. We'll see. Only time will tell. I know a lot of people are really high on Mel Tucker. And obviously, LSU is looking at him. USC is looking at or I don't know if USC is. 
but there are, there are teams looking at him to be their next coach. So, you know, it, you're, you're da- damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, and I, okay, I don't want to go too much on a, this is an SEC thing. I'm not trying to go on a rant about Michigan State, but he was two and five last year, but they beat Michigan State and they beat, is it Penn State? I don't remember. Um, that when D'Antonio left that program, it was a disaster. It's honestly remarkable he's gotten it turned around this quickly. Um, he's done a Mel Tucker's done a great job at Michigan State, but I don't know about that contract. So, who do you guys think right now? You good? You good? You good? You good? Uh, well, you know, Mel Tucker's an interesting topic just because. LSU is talking about him. Florida, we'll see. I mean, I see the the Gator logo. Um, we'll see what they do with Dan Mullen. So it's you know not 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 bad to talk a little Mel Tucker because he could be facing Alabama and some of these SEC teams next year. But yeah, CJ Stroud and. Bryce Young took leaps in the Heisman race. Now Stroud's lacking in the stats a little bit because he missed a game. And he missed a game against Akron where he could have put up some numbers. Um, And like last year's Alabama team's receiving core was ridiculous with Devontae and Waddle before he went down. And Mechie was pretty good. This Ohio State wide receiving class beats that. They are in now. They don't have a Heisman winner, but they're insane, and that helps CJ Stroud a lot. And I remember when people thought CJ Stroud was the problem. 